Hello everybody, Sift here again with another epic auto towers run, the roguelike auto butler tower defense game. And today we're gonna do a royal tower run again because I don't have access to the beta dem or any branch, honestly. Let's see what we're gonna go with. Start with a cat token, but gain minus two gold on the first two turns, not really. The royal tower gets a permanent plus two plus two bonus, the first round minus two turns in the store. Exchange two crowns for a star token. Star token is you get a tower you already have, I think. The starting tower will appear in the tower store on the second round rather than the first one. No, starting tower is the five coin, the, the coin boost. No, no, no. Um, I would say... Let's get a minus two towers in the first shot, but get a plus two, plus two on my starting tower. Because my starting tower here is going to now give us free wins. Definitely just buy the money. And let's roll for a thief, I guess. Well, let's not even... We'll just keep the money. We should be winning just from the starting tower here. I think. If we lose our life here, then obviously we just lost value for no reason. Nice! Very much worth it. We <laughs> lost life. <laughs> ah, I'm good at this game. <laughs> Cat build. Or Guardian Tower build. Plus one, plus one temporary bonus to all towers. Chest towers and Royal Towers receive double the bonus. Let's try a Guardian Tower build with a bunch of chests. Let's try that. Thief Tower here. Thief Tower gives plus five damage to Chest Towers. Let's go Chest Tower, Thief, Chest Tower, Thief, Chest Tower, and then Royal, Royal, Royal. Or Guard, whatever. Let's go guard, as I just said. Let's go thief here. And uh, let's continue. By the way, if you want to learn what all these towers do, definitely see my first video. I'm not even realizing that I'm not even doing This thing says thief tower gets plus one gold if next to a chest and plus five damage to things next to it. This is a, uh, to the chest next to it. This is a chest, two gold if it's next to the royal, one gold otherwise. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The other ones are mosquito, which gets damage based on how many mosquitoes you have. And these things, when they die, they give stats to the backliner. Double for the chest and double for the royal. So let's try and do a royal a double busted uh, guardian tower build type. Let's go triple on those. Let's go another thief. So the thief says plus 2 gold and plus 10 damage. Uh, that's not roll. We don't have the money anyway. I would like to do another money tower here. Maybe two more here and there. And just money, th money, money guardian, money guardian, money guardian. It sounds like a stupid idea in my book, but it might be good. Who knows? Another guardian. Actually, money, thief, money. Okay, yeah, four guardians. Everything else is money. And this is Obsidian Tower, which is uh, the retains bonuses as permanent. I could go for Obsidian Tower build with four of these giving permanent plus four plus four to this and even more and more. So I would say there goes another money tower here and then just another money tower here. We just don't even care about the money tower idea and just have two obsidians or something. Now let's maybe just get two obsidians. I would say, and uh, maybe, uh, oh yeah, you know what, Obsidian here and here a princess. Yeah, let's do that. So Obsidian says uh, temporary bonuses are permanent. So we're going to go with a temporary, but not temporary, permanent bonus build. Um, what is this? Gains damage and HP if you have, based on if you have a lot of mosquitoes, this could be a mosquito build. Let's go for the thief, I guess. So this is going to start gaining crazy stats now. Nice, this is a 6-6 six, six forever. Now it's a 7-7 seven, seven forever. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying this. Obsidian Tower, maybe double Obsidian Tower. But then we're not going to have any choices. We are, as long as we have the Obsidian Tower, we're, we're having one less choice. More things to buy. Let's start leveling up the first one, I would say. Assuming that it gives you more stats. Flower Tower gives temporary stats to its left and right. Ooh. Ooh, I could put this here, and this could temporarily give stats to that thing. Uh, which temporarily is actually permanent. And then I guess the prince is here to start boosting the flower tower. Nah, the obsidian should be one behind, and this should be here, and then maybe... Actually, the, the obsidian should be here, this should be here. And then the very right one should be a butler boosting the flower tower. You know what? It's gonna be money tower here, and prince is here, and that's it. I should stop. I found the butler, by the way. But there is plus two, plus two permanently on the thing to the left. Double the stats on the royal tower. It's a bit weird that you cannot change where the towers are laid, but it makes sense. I think the obsidian is going to carry us through this anyway. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we're going to lose a life here anyway. Oh no, we have good stats in the back line. No, we're going to survive. We have really good stats in the back line. Okay, more money, more tower choices. One gets always upgraded. Or your base tower gets more stats. I'm going to say more money. I always go with more money. The Obsidian Tower is going to stop giving us less choices when I level it up. One the Forge, which can make things permanently have at least five in both stats. Could make all of these five fives, but is that worth it? I don't think so that much. 
on the dragon egg. I know what the dragon does at this point. A dragon egg build is for maybe another time. Actually, maybe now is a good chance to go for the dragon build. It's gonna take a while, of course, but uh, I have a very decent lineup here, and I think the dragon build could only accompany this. Four of these, maybe a dragon here in the back line. Dragon gives you money and uh, does damage to the opponents. I could just have a triple dragon build, maybe. Without the thief and thought, uh ah. Nah, let's not go dragons. Let's actually stick to the idea. None of these. None of these. Still none of these. I'm finding so many flower towers. You know what, let's... Nah, let's buy flower tower. It gives... It, give, it gives temporary stats to the next one, and it actually is gonna give it permanently. Yeah, so this is plus one, plus one forever. So we're all uh, scaling everything into the obsidian, is the idea here. One mega obsidian tower, coming right up. I'm so sad, I should have had the obsidian in the back, and the, uh, I could have had this so much better. We're still surviving though, we're still surviving. This would be a money spot. Level everything up. Uh, none of these, honestly. And all of these. And our guardian, nice. So this now gives plus two, plus two temporary, and plus four, plus four on the chest and the royal, and also temp permanent on the obsidian. Let's start leveling up the next one, I would say. Another thief is here. That's more money in the long run. Our dragon is here. That's not Rollo. Let's see what we're gonna find. Of course, the flower tower, every time I find it, is going to be a free upgrade, by the way. Because the flower tower says whenever it gains XP, it gives us that much money. And leveling something up gives us 5 XP. And uh, this costs 5 coins. So 5 XP, 5 coins, it's the same thing. And the more this levels up, the more that's going to transfer to the obsidian. Okay, we're going to buy this. We're going to buy this. Nice, there's going to be more coins from here on out. One of these. This, by the way, is... Permanent plus one HP. I could start scaling the flower tower HP, therefore start scaling the obsidian tower HP. Hmm. I might start doing that plus one HP to this every turn. No, I want a queen. I want a princess here to start making this bigger and bigger. But I could also remove the milk tower later. Let's buy a milk tower to start scaling these. None of these, I don't know what they rolled. Yeah, this is now plus one health, and now this is gonna give temporary plus 20% of its stats, and it's gonna get more and more permanent health. So it's gonna start giving more and more health out. 29 and 29 Obsidian Tower is tanking at 27 and 27, another 77 and another 77. Nice, so the Obsidian Tower is slowly building up into madness. If this becomes a 60-60, we can even beat the next way around, not round, area. Our middle tower. So this says it gets plus one tower to the right, so it's gonna give plus one permanent health to this and plus one permanent health to that. And continue leveling these boys up. Uh, do I care about the thief? I guess it gives stats to the um, chest tower in the back. And the chest tower in the back is gonna be our final front of defense, line of defense. So it definitely needs a lot of damage if it can get so. Nice. This is a 36-37. So once again, like the next area enemies have about 50 to 60 life. So th if this has 60 damage, it's gonna be one-shotting everything. Very nice. Cardinal Tower. Okay, the opponent has as much damage as much HP it has. So the more damage we do to it, the easier, the less damage it's going to be doing to us. And our plus two, plus two temporary permanent. All away from these. And we found the Princess Tower for, with five coins. That was a mistake. Uh, let's definitely not even buy anything. Yeah, let's buy that too. It was not a mistake because I can't even um, put it anywhere anyway. Trade, trade, 94, 88. 37, 25, and it's dead. 2-2, two, two, yeah, it's gone. Easy enough, easy boss fight. What are the choices? If there are if there are less than five towers in the tower store during your turn, the towers are uh, the towers are added so that there are at least five. That's actually really good for us. Max level is now unlimited for towers. That's completely insane. Click on the token, then select the tower in the store. The selected tower is removed and no longer appears and can be used five times. That's also really good for building a specific build. I would say we buy this so we don't reroll anymore. Max level is also insane, but I don't think we're going to go into anything into max level. So I think we're going to go with always have choices for towers. That's what it feels like, because we're using a bunch of low level towers, so we want to be leveling these up the more the better. Therefore, just go with infinite tower choices. Okay, so there is nothing here I care about, and even if there was something, I would not even be able to buy it. So let's just end turn and keep the money. That was pretty much a free money turn for us. 
the five removal tokens are also awesome, but I'm trying to avoid needing to reroll here by always buying things. Let's see, can I get some removal towers? I got removal, I got champions, so I can tower that's five or higher, it gets plus 12 damage permanently, or end remove a thing, never to find again. Remove, remove, remove and champion, or remove and money, remove and champion. I'm gonna go remove, remove, remove and champion. Uh, I do enjoy this too, by the way. The thing is, I will only want to remove the money, this, right? Yeah, I think I only want to remove that and get a princess in its place. Is that true, though? Yeah, I think I want the princess in this place. So, I would say no longer finding, I guess, cat towers would be nice. Otherwise, removing pretty much the whole frontliner would be also decent, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's go with this. I no longer find cats. I level up my mega tower and I remove the one tower I don't care about. So for now, we're going to begin with this. I no longer want to find mosquitoes, I guess. Whatever. Uh, thief joints. Chest joints. These just, who cares? Flower tower joints. That's free money, by the way. Three tower joints. You see how that works, the infinite walls? Joints. Joints. Roll them. Uh, definite. Actually, milk tower. Thief. Thief. And we're good. And our milk was there. Nice. This is working out for us. As these will give us plus two, plus two. Otherwise, plus four, plus four on the mega on the uh, on the chest tower. Yeah, this is a fifty-two, fifty-nine. Very nice permanent boost. I want to find two obsidian towers, man. Give him, give him. Level this, level that. Thief tower is maxed out. No, it's not. It's level five. So it gives twenty-five damage to the thing behind it. Yeah, whatever. Throw them. And we find obsidian with four coins. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Uh, let's level up the milk though. Now it gives plus one to the three in front. Which isn't really helping us, honestly. This does not need to scale health. Yeah, trade, 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 whatever. Temp permanent bonus on the obsidian. 63, 57 at this point. You see opponents having 60 life. They can't even get through. Mega obsidian tower. More money. More choices is not that useful for us. Remove things also useless. One is always upgraded. One is always upgraded maybe is the place. So we start finding the obsidians. The chests. But that's not going to help us with leveling up those things. Now we're going to go with more money, therefore more rerolls. Two more rerolls. Another one of the guardians. Guardians stay forever. Thief might as well. Roll them. And our obsidian, let's go. I need one more. Uh, I'm not going to buy milks, so let's go. I don't even know what it gets uh, later. Retains temporary bonus as permanent, yeah, but... Minus one tower in the tower store, this penalty is removed after level up. And what happens after the next level up? Or is it only a level 2 tower? Man, they can't even get through that. If they get, they will have some issues, but we're not going to have that big of issues. Thief. Milk. This guy. This guy again. Nice, so it's plus 3, plus 3. Nothing here. Roll him. Uh, another one of these guys. And we're done. I'm going to keep the 5 coins. The chest tower I want to level up, of course, but it isn't happening. This still gives us temporary stats, but now it actually starts giving more and more life away from the, to the obsidian. That's why it has a lot of life. Now, this thing scaling life is more important than anything else, so I think it's a good play to go milk tower plus flower tower. And literally, it fell for the first time, but it's still is literally protecting us against anything and everything. Plus two, plus two. Plus two, plus two. Yep, I start leveling up the next one. Well, I mean, these are always falling, no matter what happens. Found the last obsidian. Let's go. And what's the downside? Retains, but it's a permanent. And what's the next level on this then? Let's boost here. And uh, let's also boost the mill. Actually, I don't care about the mill. Let's go. I want to see what the next obsidian does. Would like to see what the level up does. Nice. More and more. 9600 plus. Very easily tanks everything. Oh no. Oh no. We start scaling off. We start falling off in damage. That's not good. We have two more lives. Of course, survive. But the obsidian tower is not really tracking by that. Roll. And not scaling as fast as the opponents do. Nice. And that's a 3 3 scaling now. Continue getting the thief done. 8 coins. One more. Now obsidian. So we see what it gets. And let's go. Could I get our chest? Is the big question. This is 100, 123. Okay, nothing really. I mean, literally, the first four just die. First stars are like, we lose. And this guy gets a kill on literally everything. Only things with a lot of attack are an issue, otherwise we're good. Another tower boost. Another chest boost, let's go! Now we get 5 coins from this. Level 3. 
Volum. Final Thief. Now this gives 3D damage and it's a max level. Uh, roll them. And uh, I think we're done. Actually, let's roll one more time. Found the flower. This is always free. So now this scales. No, when gaining spin, also grants the value gold. At the end of the turn, grants adjacent towers a temporary damage and HP. Bonus equal 10% of its damage and HP. So it just got stats. That's it. It just got stats. Okay. I mean, the fact that it got more stats means more scaling, but that's it? I thought it would scale something. I also want to see what the Obsidian level 2 does. Level 3, I guess. That was a very, very easy fight. Oh, no. 80 damage. Survived. Survived. And 50-40. Can you guys get a 50-40, please? Nice. This thing has a lot of damage, too. Okay, these are all useless. Hold on. Got a TNT tower, but still useless. No, also useless. Is the time come for us to remove the milk tower to start gaining building tower? Level 4 and higher start gaining stats. No, that's only gonna boost the thief. Milk stage for now. Another one of these. Now obsidian. Okay, nothing else. I really enjoy this infinite thing gaining. Okay, this is gonna give us the money back. We're gonna go chest. Now we're gonna go guardian. And just like that, it's 3 3 now. Let's go. 3D damage on this. 3D 2 4. Boom. Stats, 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 stats. And you're dead. 111 life, 3D damage, 3D damage, easily tankable. 51 life, 3D damage, 25 and 25, got them all. No, didn't got them all. 110 life, let's go. Did you guys get it? Oh, come on. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna die. And the final boss is here, uh, is it? Gains 5 HP each time it hits a tower. 50 damage, 500 health. The obsidian should kill it easily. Find a Hydra. Let's level this boy up. First one always. Roll him. Uh, none of these. None of these. Dragon build is gonna happen, by the way. Milk build is also gonna happen. Another one of these. The game is not a joke, by the way, by the way. Like, I've played enough of this game to last to lose a lot of times. Uh, you can go and play the free demo right now, and you're gonna see the game is not really just an insta win. I'm not gonna roll three coins. I'm gonna eight coins from that. I think the Guardian got this. The, the Obsidian, that is. Nice, plus two, plus five is what this is giving right now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's scaling health, but now it's my turn. 50, 50, 50, 50, and he's gone. Very nice. Easy enough. Next one. If you haven't bought any towers in a round, tower store gets a different choice of towers next round. This effect applies to reroll. If you haven't bought any towers in a round, tower store gets a different... Okay, so if you re you reroll until you find something completely new, and then it stops working. Click on token, select the tower in the tower store. The selected tower is removed and no longer appears in the tower store. Can be used five times. This is insane. Insane. Towers cost one less. We're going with this. Towers cost one less. Definitely works with my spinning top infinitely scaling thing. I hope I'm allowed to continue playing because I know for a fact that that's not something the game allows you to do. Um, okay, here I'm thinking we sell the milk. I guess we sell the guardian and buy the butler. We sell the milk and we buy the butler, the, the, the building. No, we just continue with what we have. This works. I'm just gonna level all of these up into oblivion. Unless the game is over, which might be. The build is still in its early works, but I think the build is over. I think the run ends. If, if it pushes the camera to the left, the run is over. Please don't push the camera to the left. No, the run's over. Yeah, this is not something I have access to. Man, one more run. Call to the gods. Call of the gods. Price 3 gold can be used one per round. I wasn't fast enough at reading that. End of the demo. Yeah, this is the demo, boys. This is how much we can play. 20 minute run. Wow. That was a very fast run I did today. I guess... Wasn't I explaining enough? I don't know. Get to main menu. I think we're going to leave it at 20 minutes. And I think I'm going to also leave it at this until I get access to the mod or whatever for the infinite play. Because there is an infinite mode. And there is also one more wave you can run through. So I definitely want to be doing good runs when I have that ready. Because this is, I think, my fifth or sixth run. The game kills you very fast, very early, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so if I get a good run, I would like to be on the endless mode. I don't want to do a run here on this mode. Whoops, that was a mistake there on the editing thing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed for a quicker video today. And um, yeah, next time I'm going to play this, I'm going to have access to the version. If I don't have access to that version, then I guess I'm going to put a hold on that because the game is very awesome and I don't want to throw away awesome runs uh, on a game that right now doesn't have enough gameplay for my awesome runs to go through, I guess. That's my idea here. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope the dev uh, takes notice or somebody. I mean, I'm already talking with the person that has access to the mod. So maybe I'm going to be able to play the Endless next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.